What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. As always, I'm Exploit17. Today, I'll be making a video on how I got The Sims 3 working on my Windows 11 operating system. Now, the first thing that I'm going to tell you guys is the only thing that I've done differently besides what everybody else has said to work is I have isolated the files. And how you do that is you go into your EA app if it works. Um, okay. So basically when you install the game, um, you're going to create a file called Sims 3 and make the location to your desktop. Just drop, drag and drop it to your desktop. And, um, and then the next step is you're gonna go to your settings and you're gonna go to OneDrive. So you'll see here the second drop down, turn resume off for OneDrive um, and you're gonna click off and click off for both of these. Um, and then yeah, you see here that it works. I can go into my game. Um, hopefully it doesn't blare you guys with audio, but um, yeah, so the game works on my Windows 11 operating system. And the only reason I'm playing this game is because I'm absolutely bored to death and the games that they are releasing, not EA, but just in general, 2025, there's not that much fun stuff to play. And I figured I'd just hit some nostalgia and go back to a game that I really used to enjoy as a kid. So if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Um, let me alt tab here. But yeah, I will accredit this Reddit user, Nines Huki, Hueki. All right. So he was the one who told me to disable or deinstall OneDrive. That seemed to work pretty well. Um, yeah. I spent probably six hours trying to get to work because I, right now in life, I don't have anything better to do. So, um, it worked for this one individual, but, um, there's a lot of stuff that I found online that people just could not get it working. So I really hope this video helps you guys. Um, anyways, as always, exploit 17, have a great rest of your day.